Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Hello GoDaddy users, looking to customize your website further? In this video we will show you how to edit HTML in GoDaddy's website builder. Stick around to learn how to make custom tweaks and enhance your website's functionalities and appearance. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you can have the full experience so guys first thing first is you need to own a godaddy website to do so you simply have to go to godaddy click on website and click on website builder click on the first link and you will be able to open it so it's pretty simple as you can see after that there is three plans or basically these are the plans or you can go simply for the free trail which is basically another idea that you could go for such as um, starting point which you could explore the act the features that it has more before you get to buy anything from them so once you buy uh, a website from them or basically you could literally just buy a domain name which is much cheaper this is exactly what I did is I bought the domain name and with this domain name I am using the website feature within it uh, you can explore the features as well for a very very cheap price so let's go here to my products and here within the product section I will go ahead and find my domains after that I will click on manage and after that they will take me to this dashboard of the domain name as you can see here you will find on the left here menu websites click on it and you will find the website that you have so this is my website so I will click on edit websites and now let's explore more how we can edit it how we can add stuff and what we can actually use within this website so first of all guys in this video I'm going to talk about the HTML uses of the website so how we can add an HTML code within it so there might be a lot of videos within YouTube that shows you something like clicking right click and going to the inspect mode and try to change something like that for example I'm going to hover this button right here and after I do, I do that I'm going for example to choose this area let me just hover it again um, it doesn't show to be helping me a lot let me just refresh the page alright so basically there is this option which uh, I'm currently trying to show you so here for example I'm going to hover that and basically they are going to show me that exact position within the actual code so it's just simply about as I said by going inspect clicking on this button right here and hovering that I will find it right here so about and defined so I'm simply going to click here for example change it to tutorial and as you can see the text right here is going to be changing to whatever thing I would like it to be so you can simply just change it I have some lag right now I don't know why but this is a method that people are actually showing on YouTube right nowadays and basically it is a scam why so because as you can see I have changed the text to be tutorial but once I have refreshed it let me just refresh the page so as you can see the text has became what it was in the beginning so the adjustment that I'm doing is basically useless it is a temporary adjustment with the HTML code which doesn't really affect the live website it's only appears to me and the same thing I can do it for example on Amazon I can go to Amazon let me just go to amazon.com and literally even though I don't own Amazon let me just show you here I don't really own Amazon or don't have the access into it I can literally do the same thing click here click on inspect and then click on whatever thing I'd like to change for example sh shop or this PC I'm going to change it to whatever I want so uh, hello guys so I'm gonna change it to hello guys and look what will happen it changed to hello guys does it mean that everyone can actually see it as it is no hacking this is basically good call it hacking if it, that was the thing but hacking is not that simple guys it's not something that you click two buttons and you will literally get into the Amazon official website so once now I refresh it this NPC will become what it was once it has been made 
in the essential form so in this video I'm going to talk about the embed code and how you can actually have it so here click first of all and add a section and here within this add section you have to find here an embed code so in this case you didn't find it you have to search for it and as you can see there is nothing that actually allows you to have it beside this HTML so find the HTML here and click on add so you simply have to search for HTML and then add it. After you do so, you simply have to write the code right here. So here you'll have the area so you can use this to inject HTML, CSS and JavaScript into your site between the body tags. Only try this advanced feature if you are confident working with code. So here give it a title and here write your custom code. So what we're gonna do right now is to go ahead and open chat GPT. I'm not used enough or uh, with the coding so I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to give me a simple code. So write me a simple code using both HTML and CSS to have uh, for a login page. Yeah, let's have that. Yep. And now we simply have to wait. So this is the code. And what I'm gonna do is wait for it until. Uh, wait, let me just say merge them together. Let me just merge them together, which is better. I don't want to have everything uh, like. Uh, CSS and parts and stuff in another part. I want them all to be in one single HTML file just like that this is perfectly done so what I'm gonna do now is to wait for it until it is done creating for me this code copy code go right here click and then paste the code right here and as you can see this is our HTML code that we have just created it's very easy guys nothing complicated about it so after I click on done and I click on preview this is how the code is actually going to look like so here you simply have to add your username and here add your password and then click on login of course this is not functioning at the moment because it doesn't have any PHP it doesn't have any JavaScript within it so once you click on login it will simply just give you a blank page but yeah this is a simple example on how you can add a code or edit your or your GoDaddy website uh, using HTML so you can actually use HTML to edit it in case you were a good coder or you simply have an AI that can help you and guide you uh, throughout the way um, as we saw with me in this video we have used ChatGPT to actually be guided to actually have the best code possible within our website so we don't actually glitch it or have any problems within it and we actually made one file that has both HTML and CSS which usually they come separated so now we have them both in one file I guess if I asked it for an in JavaScript JavaScript uh, injected within this file it might even be better so we have better results but yeah this is the main idea that I wanted to show you guys so that is basically it I hope you like this video guys a lot and thank you guys for watching this video see you guys in the next tutorials and bye bye